Okay, this video is for 10.3a, multiplying monomials and binomials. So, um, we'll start with this first section here, multiply each polynomial expression. And you can see that this section is all about multiplying monomials, so one-term one polynomials. Um, so what that consists of is we have to multiply two things when you're multiplying monomials. You have to multiply the variables together, and you have to multiply the coefficients together. So let's start off by multiplying the coefficients, the blue underlines. That's 5 times negative 1. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And then x to the fifth times x squared if you think back to when we did our exponent rules a couple weeks ago, um, when you're multiplying like terms, you add their exponents. So x to the fifth times x squared is x to the seventh power. All right, so 5x to the fifth times negative x squared is negative 5x to the seventh. Now let's do the same thing, but on a bigger scale. We'll multiply a couple binomials. First, we'll do one with the area model. Let's zoom in a little further. So number 11. We'll write 14y to the third power right here, and then minus y or negative y right there. So that consists of this binomial. And now let's put this binomial on top, 2y times negative 10. So to get this box filled in right here, we need to multiply the two terms that are on its border, which would be 14y cubed and 2y. So let's do that. 14 times 2 is 28, and y to the third times y is y to the fourth. Now, to get this box filled in, we multiply the two numbers that are on its border. That is negative y and 2y. So negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 and y times y is y squared. Same idea for the other boxes. This box comes from 14y cubed and negative 10. So 14 times negative 10 is negative 140. And then y cubed is the only variable, so it stays there, y cubed. And then the final box, negative y times negative 10. Negative 1 times negative 10 is positive 10. And then y is the only variable again. And now once we get these boxes filled out, we just need to add the terms together. So that's going to be 28y to the 4th minus 140y to the 3rd minus 2y squared plus 10y. So that is our final answer. All right. Let's do it one more time, but we'll do it with FOIL instead of the area model. So the idea of FOIL is that we have to multiply every term in our first binomial by every term in our second binomial. So I have to multiply y to the 6 by negative 1 and by 4y squared. And I also have to multiply negative 2y by negative 1 and by 4y squared. So let's start with y to the 6. y to the 6 times negative 1 is negative y to the 6. And then y to the 6 times 4y squared is 4y to the 8th. Now we'll go to negative 2y. So negative 2y times negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. And then y stays there. And negative 2y times 4y squared becomes negative 8y to the 3rd. Now, this is a good answer, but we could put it in order of exponents. So y to the 8th is the biggest one, so the 4, y to the 8th could come first. Then minus y to the 6, then minus 8y to the 3rd, and plus 2y. And this would be our final answer right here. 